Hello and welcome to a new video on SQL Server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to SQL Server using uh, the SQL CMD utility, which is a utility that you can run from the command prompt and with uh, practical examples. So the first thing we need to do is open the command prompt so you can just type here in search cmd and and open it as administrator so the, the command we are going to use is sql cmd sql cmd so this is the command if you want to see the available options with this command, you can type it like this, then space, dash, question mark. And you will get all the available options with this command. So for example, uh, the S option is for the server, the H option is for hostname, the U option is for login ID, P for password, E for trusted connection etc so there are uh, a bunch of options we can use with this command so the first thing we are going to do is test the connection to the server or to the SQL server instance with Windows authentication mode so the command is SQL CMD space dash s and then the server name for me it's going to be localhost but but it can be a server name or a, an ip address then space dash e dash e and as we have seen just now e stands for trusted connection so this this is going to be a trusted connection so hit enter and now as you can see we are connected to the server just when we got this uh, arrow here or uh, greater than sign I'm going to exit here another way to connect is to type server name backslash instance name for us, the instance name is the default instance name, which is ms sql server. Let's see if this works. So hit enter, and it's working. The reason why it worked the first time is because the instance name is the default instance name. I don't think that if our instance name is not the default name, it was going to work the first time. So if your instance name is not the default instance name you have to do after the server name backslash and then your instance name so this is how you can connect to uh, your SQL server instance using uh, Windows authentication another way to exit the connection uh, with SQL server instance is to type quit so that's what, what I just tried there so if you do quit instead of control C, you will be uh, disconnected from the server as well. I'm going to clear my screen. Now let's try something with our uh, connection. Let's say for example, I want to display uh, or I want to write a query that will return all databases that are available in the server so we can do this select name from master dot sys dot databases and then type go and we have a result it seems like we have a result so we have the column name which we have se uh, selected here we have these databases master temp db model 
MSDB, and Wild Wide World Importers. The first four databases, if you recognize them, are the system databases. And the fifth database is the database that we have imported in the last tutorial, or the one that we have created from SQL Server sample databases. So this is a simple query, and this is how you can <coughs> run uh, a query when the connection is open. Now let's try and uh, connect to the server using uh, SQL Server authentication. So I'm going to type quit here to quit the connection. If you remember, when we installed SQL Server instance on this uh, virtual machine, I selected for the authentication mixed mode, which means that we can connect to the server using Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication. And if you remember as well, I have created a password for the system admin uh, account, SA. So I hope I still remember the password. So I'm going to to connect to uh, this server now using the system admin account. So the command is SQL CMD space dash s space server name which is local host backslash instance name ms sql server and then space minus u username which is sa and minus p space the password I'm not going to type the password here I'm going to try and uh, hit enter so I I have to have a password so I'm going to try uh, and and add the the password argument okay it's not working as well mm. I think that the the user argument has to be in capital and then if I remove this argument yeah it's asking for the password okay so now I type the password that I have created during the installation and yes so uh, connection to the server with SQL server uh, authentication is working so this is the syntax SQL CMD dash s server name backslash instance name dash u username dash p password if you don't uh, add the password argument it's going to ask for the password of course so the, this is the second way of connecting to the sql server instance so if i try to run the previous command to show the databases available on this uh, server so let's see if it still works and it should then type go and we have the same result as before so if you notice here we are, we are running this query on the master.sys.databases what does this mean is that master is the database it's a system database sys is the schema and databases is the table name that we are querying so if we open uh, SSMS so I connect here to my instance and then I go to databases system databases master tables system tables I don't think that the object we are looking we are looking for is a table 
so maybe it's a view so under views sys so this is it sys databases so if I open this uh, view so this is the view uh, we were querying so it has the name uh, column so if I uh, choose another uh, another column like this one recovery model description let's see if we can get it so let's run the same command again name comma recovery model description enter and then go so as you can see I got this uh, co uh, this column here recovery model description simple simple full simple simple so the recovery model is full for the model database so so it's correct recovery model is full for the model database so just it's this is just to show you that we are querying a specific view in our database let's open our wide world importers let's see one of the tables for example sales dot uh, invoices okay let's open it okay let's say we want to see the invoice ID and Uh, let's choose another column okay let's say I want to see the invoice ID and the customer ID so to, to make things easier let's uh, take the command from here invoice ID and customer ID let's remove all these uh, all these parameters here okay let's copy this command from here and run it here in the SQL uh, CMD so paste it and type enter then go and there you go we got all the invoice ID and customer ID just like in the database if you want to limit the result to just the top let's say top 10 uh, results you can do this select top 10 invoice ID and customer ID then go and there you go we have the top 10 customer ID and invoice ID if you don't want to type a database name then schema then table you can do this you can do use then database name wide world uh, importers okay then type the command without the database name I'm not sure if it works but I hope it does then go and yes so you can remove the database name from here if you if you uh, run this command use and then database name okay so that's it guys for this video uh, 
this is how you can connect to your SQL Server instance with SQL CMD and run commands on it. Thank you for watching.